autumn, autumn, autumn. And for us predatory anglers, that can only mean one thing. Pike, pike, pike. As the leaves start to go brown and eventually falling off the trees, the bad weather comes back again and the temperatures drop right down. The pike are on the feed. Oh, that was such a good hit. So have a quick guess at what you think we're targeting today. And to take full advantage of this, we're heading out to Menteith. But this is no regular session. If we rewind a few months ago, I posted my first ever video. Hi guys, how's it going? So, welcome to my first video. I set out and fished Menteith, thinking I was gonna get a great video for my first ever. But that wasn't the case, as we blanked. It was sad writing it on the bit of paper, to be fair, but yeah. So, this time we're fishing for redemption. We've nothing but numbers Beautiful. and good pike on my mind. Oh, peeler. So, let's get to it. Oh, I was not messing around this time. Every bit of kit, every lure, everything to do with fishing was getting packed, as well as an extensive amount of research. In true fisherman style, I gathered an army of lures, going up and down the stairs, trying to pack my car with everything I could possibly think of bringing, knowing fine well that I was never going to use all of them. But I would have never have imagined that I would have just stuck with one and one only. Eventually, I got the car packed and I got going on my long journey. Beautiful roads were driven on until we eventually made it. <laughs> We've arrived. I was super keen to get out as quick as possible, so I got the boat prepared, got familiar with it again, and then listened to the event rules. Boring. I got the engine rod up and I was setting out to fish my heart off. Absolutely excited, but I was definitely nervous at the same time. I'm casting at waters that I just do not know anything about. But to help me, I did get a depth map on my phone so I can see areas of interest and in the depths that the fish may be at to try and help me on my redemption mission. And it wasn't long until fishing those areas of interests paid off. I think it's gonna be a few stacked along here, so there's only one more thing to do, and that is to get casting. Tiny little jack pike. That's the first fish already. Let's go. Oh, he's digging. Keep the rod tip low on him. <coughs> Bring him up. Ah, easily done. Let's go. <laughs> yes, that didn't take long at all. On the brand new chrome pink 16 centimeter drunk bait. It's no monster, but it's the first fish. Measure him and then send it on its way. See you later. <laughs> Redemption served from last time. Great start. I cannot believe that. So, so, so quick. That must have been like seven casts into a fish, crumping, drunk bait, doing the work right away. Chuffed with that. We've got a long way to go though if you want to get the Menteith monster. So let's get going. I was over the moon getting that fish so quickly. Within the first 20 to 30 minutes of fishing, I was one fish up and I thought that was it. I was in for an absolute banger of a day and I was going to get nothing but fish after fish after fish. But that's not how fishing goes. Hours went by, multiple trips up and down the lake shore, cast after cast after cast, and gallon after gallon after gallon of fuel got burnt. All trying to find where the fish are, where they might be lying, and where I might be able to catch one at. After fishing for so long with no interest in my lure whatsoever, it left me absolutely baffled. So I stopped for a collective bit of lunch and rethought my approach, which got me thinking, the water was incredibly murky after a lot of rain Scotland had had and the pike for me were completely switched off. So I thought what better to do than put a loud, bright, aggressive lure on. And oh my word, am I glad I did. Right in its mouth, and it's a beautifully marked one. Look, there's another fish. Oh, that was such a good hit again. Oh, look at that. Peeler, she's a peeler. Come on, come on. There 
There we go. Much better. Perhaps you should consider the new junk twister. Look at that. Get in. I am over the moon finally working our way up. Yes. There's another fish. Ooh, get in. Oh, he's a strong one. He is a strong one. Get in. Okay. You're a fatty. <sighs> Oh, and it's a beauty. He's got a fat old belly on it. There we go then. Much, much, much chunky little jack. That's how you find them in a typical uh, trout water. Again, this one is the killer rig. Absolute killer. They have been demolishing it. Now that I know they're here, we're gonna fish on and fish hard. There was one part of that afternoon that genuinely felt like it was just fish after fish after fish, and I was absolutely over the moon with it. But for any of you that know this water, you'll definitely know that there are a lot of big pike in this water, and that is what makes it such a desired place to fish. So I thought for the latter part of this session, I would try and target some. I did end up switching lures, thinking bigger bait, bigger fish, but I got absolutely no interest in this. I fished it for a long time as well, which left me with 15 to 20 minutes left to try and get that big fish that I really wanted to get. So lo and behold, I went back to the Drunk Twister, sent it out for a few more last casts, and got exactly what I wanted to get. Yes! 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 Let's go! Oh, I was just thinking in my head that we're going to get one last fish before we pack up. And yes, we are. Tim, they are so fun to catch when they're fired up like this. Come on. Come on in. Get you in quick and then hopefully bag another. Come on. Oh, she can scrap though. She can scrap. Kiting upwards now. Can't be too far away. Oh dear. Look at that! Taking me for spins! <laughs> oh, let's go! Oh, it's a good job I turned the GoPro on. I've been wired up all day. Uh, I feel like a telegraph pole. Uh, uh, well, by the way, she's fighting. This could be a lot better fish. This could be a much better fish. How are we going to be able to test out the new scales? Freshly bought after the uh, salmon video. Uh. Oh, peeler. Come on. Oh, I was just using the Kofi Roach trout pattern. Whoa, baby. What a fight. Oh, much better fish. Much better fish. Uh, come on then. Come on then. Uh. Come on in. Oh, look how fired up she is. Oh, oh there's a double. There's a double. There's a double for you. Look at that. Come on. Come on. Mm. Uh, in the net. Yes. Yes. Oh, that is what we came for. Yes, she's in the net waiting now. It's no monster still by this water's standard, but oh, in the last hour of fishing, she's came out. Oh, and she's nearly going back in with the net. This lure, phenomenal. Uh, as I say, looks no bigger than the others, but short, sweet, and full to the brim of trout. Ah, oh, beautiful. Look at the chunkiness on that. Just a belly full of trout. You can literally feel them. That is crazy. And it's a beauty. <laughs> it's so cool seeing them like this. I mean, my waters, they're normally pretty even in ratio, head to body weight, but not like this. They're absolute chodes. Beauty. Let's see what she holds at. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. We got that double. Right. Let's let her go. Not the prettiest of releases, but Right, weather has just took a massive turn for the worst. So I am gonna bomb on in as I am almost bricking one.
see you on the shore. Oh, I don't know where this weather came from. <laughs> Oh, what an absolute blast that was. The weather was so crazy. Honestly, that storm that came in at the end came out of nowhere and I was genuinely bricking one. <laughs> There's nothing better than finding that lure that just absolutely kills it on the day. And when you can escape a slow start or a blank or anything like that, it is just so fun and so rewarding. I'm gonna be back up here real soon for sure, definitely trying to target some big fish. Now that I've got the redemption out the way and my curse on that water is just eliminated, it's time to get some real big fish. It's time to get the heating on, it's time to head on home, it's time to get some food in me as I am starving after fishing all day. And it's time to put this video to an end. If you have enjoyed this one, get in the comments below, hit the like and subscribe as it goes a real long way and it means that I can get bigger and better projects filmed and brought to you guys so you can all enjoy them. In the meantime, tight lines if you're out fishing and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.